What's going on, good people? Stevie Bags here. Listen, I'm gonna make this short and sweet. I don't get involved in internet shenanigans. I stand on purpose, I stand on principle. And I graduated from Bethune Cookman University with a degree in international business. I was a three time All American, I was Black College Player of the Year. I'm in the National Black College Hall of Fame for football. However, I will not allow anyone to trample on the tradition and the legacy that we built at Bethune Cookman, where we entered to learn and we departed to serve. So saying all that to say, I was summoned along with some of my former teammates at Bethune that made it to the NFL. And we came in to, to not bash Ed Reed. We came in to galvanize and encourage and inspire young men to move forward be, beyond their current circumstances. And with that being said, I would not I would not ever be called a sucker. I've never been that. I've always been for righteousness and for my people. And I'm not, I haven't always been right, but I've always been righteous. And I'll tell you this, when you stand on righteousness and when you stand on principles that, that are aligned with, with righteousness, everybody's not gonna like that. And that's not any of my business. But what I will say is, this was that was not a bash Ed Reed session. That was to let these young men know that guess what? The university administration, they moved on with him, beyond him, and so you need to do the same thing. P point blank period. Ed and I played together at, 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 in Baltimore. We trained together in the off season. I have nothing against Ed, but you can't go on a rant, on live, and cuss these people out and expect to keep a job. That's, that, that's asinine. So we need to wrap our arms around Ed. And just like we wrapped our arms around these young men last night, and that's what this is all about. This is not about no beef or no pork or no anything else. This is about melanated men standing on principle. This is bigger than football, this is spiritual because a lot of people are suffer, suffering from spiritually transmitted diseases. So listen, I'm signing off. I just wanna let y'all know, I wanna clear the air and I want people to hear it from me that, um, the legacy and the tradition and the greatness that we achieved at Bethune Cookman, you can't erase that. And we're gonna help rebuild our program, whoever's the coach, whoever they bring in. All right, so peace and power, love and light, shalom.